Welcome back guys. Today we are going to do a catch and cook of shovel nose guitar fish. I've been really curious to see how they taste, especially after Mario got one almost two years ago now. Yeah. If you guys want to see that video, you can click up here where we did a leopard shark catch and cook right at this very spot. And in the process, Mario did get that shovel nose and since then I've been really curious. I heard that they're edible. I heard a lot of people eat them. There aren't any restrictions on size, but hopefully we get a good enough one to get some good steaks and make some shovel nose guitar fish nuggets. We're gonna do the same method that we did last time. We brought the kayak out today and we will let our spools go free, take our baits way farther than we can actually cast them and then wait for that good old bite. And we're Ready. trying two different baits today. We got herring on mine and we got squid, the whole squid on Mario's. There is a potential to catch some really big fish. We have seen 50 pound plus rays get caught. So we have a method or a setup here that <laughs> some might think is a little extreme. We got <laughs> this big old avid with a hundred pound braid and it's a tuna setup. It was actually a gift from uh, the boys. So that was really nice. Thank you. It's got good old America on it. And up to a three-way swivel uh, to 80 pound leader. Because these are toothy critters, but the ones that we're targeting, usually they'll just bite it and sit and start to munch on it. Then when they're done and happy, they swim off. But as they swim off, that circle hook gets caught on the side of their mouth. And that's when we get them. Let's just get these out. Let's send it. All right, guys. Let's do this. So I'm using my wife's salty PDL today. Nope, it's too shallow for the drive. That's already farther than we could normally cast these things, so we're looking pretty good. It's super shallow out here. Almost lost Mario's bait. Little mishap. I lost Mario's sinker. Right here's good. Dropping Mario's bait right there. And I'll drop mine. A little over here. Okay. All right, my bait's down. Put my clicker on, paddle back. Let's go, let's get out of here. A little close, but it's okay. Not too, too far out. Still farther than we can cast. All right, we're in the water. We're in the water. We're fishing, baby. We're fishing. Hopefully we can get something really quick. Actually, we need two things. Shovel nose, leopard shark. High tide is in about two hours from now. So we're fishing the incoming tide and my clicker is on. So we should hear it start ripping. And once that happens, we know it's game on. Mario's got bells on his rod. So <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we hear those going music dinner bells. Yep, we'll give it 30 minutes and uh, we'll check lines. Mario's gonna set his timer. If we don't get bit, I'm gonna go farther out than this time. All right, we're gonna try this again. So the first time I wasn't able to go all the way as far as we wanted. It's been 20 minutes, 30 minutes in the water. By this time we should have already gotten bit based on how many fish are in the area that we know of. 
but this time I'm gonna put Mario stuff in the cup holder that way it doesn't fall out because it fell out prematurely and he just had a ton of leader line out and his sinker was probably 20 yards behind so this time we're gonna send it way out and I don't have a fish finder so I don't know how far or how deep we are but I'm going probably 10 times farther than we can normally cast so I think we'll be safe out here Oh, it fell! Yours fell! It already fell out! Mario's fell out, so... I'm gonna go a little bit farther than Mario, I guess. Yep, that's happening. Alright, there's Mario way over there. He's an ant. So small. Which means I'm pretty close to the middle of this bay way way farther than i can normally cast out for sure especially with this setup i'm gonna drop my line right here looks good and i went ahead and i switched to a carolina rig instead of that high low because i want something to be able to run with it not feel it and no matter what direction he goes it'll take line six ounce weight I guess that's what we're doing. Yep, that's where we're stationed, so heading back. Listen to that. Hopefully we hear that going when we have a fish on. That's what we want. But I let Mario's out like probably right over there. Looking good. This is the one. This is the one right here. <laughs> one of these is going to go off. Or both of them. That'd be sick. Yeah. Oh. oh. Look, look. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Is it swimming into mine? No, no way. Yeah, I think mine dropped it. Yeah, mine started taking off too, but we'll see what Mario's got. Maybe he's got a leopard. Maybe he's got the shovel nose. But there's bat rays out here too, so. I hope it's not a bat ray. I don't like those things. Yeah. Sucker's heavy. He's not fighting very hard, but it is heavy. Hopefully it's a shovel nose. Big, but it's heavy. Yeah, it's a good, good sized ray. All right, now we gotta get them off. <laughs> they have more crushers for teeth, but still be careful of the tail because there is a barb on that and it has little spines that point backwards. So if it goes in, it's hard to get out. So just be real careful. That's the correct direction. Thanks for the fight, mister. All right, we're gonna re-rig and send that one back out. Something definitely grabbed my bait. Yeah, I was wondering if that fish that Mario just brought in got into my line and started peeling drag, but I definitely got bit on the herring. So I'm gonna keep on going with that. Mario got one on the squid. I think it might've even been just how I rigged that herring too. Uh, that hook was buried too much into the bait. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap the bait to my hook without piercing the bait itself. That way it just sticks out like that off the side of the bait. I'll show you right now. Magic thread, I'll leave, the, I'll leave a link in the description, but what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna have the hook stick out like that, and I'm just gonna magic thread it just like that all the way to the tail, just so there's no chance that that fish won't get the hook on its way back. Just wrap it all the way up the bait, back and forth. Wrap it nice and tight. Nice little package, break it off. That's our bait right there. All right, we're gonna send it. All right, this time I'm hand delivering 
Mario's bait way out. He's gonna have such a hard time bringing this back. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna tire him out. Hopefully the squid gets bit and we have no problems whatsoever. Drop it! Good? All right. There's Mario's bait, gone. All right, I'm gonna drop mine a little south of his, so there's no chance of uh, tangling. And she's down. Look at Mario's spool. There's like nothing left. Oh boy. Almost better hope it comes this way. Shovel nose, shovel nose, shovel nose. How are you gonna make it? I'm just gonna batter it and fry it. Batter and fry it. Yeah, everything's good battered and fried. That's true. Nuggets. Yes. Shovel nose nuggets. Shove nugs. Shove nugs. <laughs> Should do the bobber trick like we're fishing for trout. That'll work. Oh, fish, fish. Yeah, tighten it down. <laughs> you don't have much line. <laughs> he knows he's on? Yeah, he knows he's on now. Hey, let me take that bell off. Can I take it off? Yeah, take it off. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. No more jingle bells for you. <laughs> no more. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's good. Shovel nose, please, shovel nose. Catch us some shove nugs. Shove nugs, baby. Shove nugs. It feels like the same, fighting the same way, so maybe another ray. Maybe another ray, yeah. Two, Heavy, dude. two bites on the squid. Heavy? Yeah. You getting tired? Yeah. Uh, it's a ray. All right, I'm gonna tell you guys this. The only reason we're even out here is because it's windy and the ocean has been angry. <laughs> we've been wanting to hit the surf. We've been wanting to target halibut. We've been wanting to do a bunch of stuff. Salmon. We've been wanting to hit some salmon, but <laughs> a lot of you guys are probably like, why are Edward and Mario messing around with rays and shovel nose and <laughs> leopard sharks? It's because we want to get bit. It's Mario's day off and we need to get some fishing on and all the things that we want to do are pretty much unavailable because the weather, like terrible swells, terrible wind, no matter what we want to do. The tide too. We had like a 6 a.m. low tide and that's why we're out here to like one o'clock incoming tide. Mario, look how fast you brought him in. He's gonna prolapse, look at this bad boy. Yeah. He's like, uh oh. You gave him a hernia. There we go, baby. Let's let him go. Come on, Buster. There he is. So when your bait is actually soaking out there, it's putting out a bit of scent. And the longer it's there, it starts to permeate. And these fish that we're targeting have receptors that can sense <laughs> minute traces of food. So right now, as we wait, these fish are starting to get that signal and starting to come towards our baits. That's what's happening right now, as you wait. We got a little nibble, just enough to make me get over here. <laughs> I haven't seen you run that fast in a long time. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was more of a, one, a run walk. It was more of like... <laughs> so hopefully that fish just dropped it, well, ran with it a little bit, dropped it, and circles back around, smells it again, picks it back up. Just had another take. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm gonna let him finish the job. 
that magic thread all over it keeps it keeps the hook there with the meat so as long as the meat's there a little bit with that hook attached to it that fish is gonna try and eat it No. Oh, yeah, he's on, he's on. He's on. Yep. Huh? Oh, there he is. Is he on? Yep. <laughs> Tiny, though. Oh, okay. Or maybe it just feels small because of this freaking setup. <laughs> Big old Phoenix Black Diamond. And, uh, giant Avid <laughs> Wide Spool. Oh, yeah. Two speed. Yeah. On a rail rod. Yeah, definitely wouldn't be able to do this without the kayak. She, oh, she's way out there. Oh, oh. Oh, it jumped. Whatever yeah, it, it is. Jumped. Maybe it's your leopard. I don't think Ray's jump. When you have a chance, maybe stop. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> here, you're still filming right here. Yeah, yeah Mario's on. on too. It's that tide. Oh, it's a it's a leopard. It's a leopard. It's a leopard? Yep, it's a good one. Yep. It's a good leopard. It's a leopard. Yep. Yeah, guys. There's the leopard, guys. 36 inches is uh, legal to keep. So Mario wanted to keep a leopard today, so we'll keep it and uh, exchange. You're still on? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mario's on too. I don't know what it is though. Shovel nose, shovel nose. Please be a shovel nose. Yeah, we got our leopard, Mario. Hell yeah. Let's see if this is a shovel nose. It's fighting different, for sure. 30 pound test. Oh, it's right there. What is it? Another leopard? Oh yeah, another leopard. Yeah, we'll let yours go. Yeah. Here we go guys. We made it happen. Got the leopard. He's not a keeper, but we're gonna be happy with it and let him roll. He's down. Double up. Double up. Double up leopards. There he goes. All right, you want to grab your tape? Like nothing ever happened. Yeah. All right, so Mario's going to grab his tape and help me out with this guy. 36 inches. I think he's there. Think so? Yeah. 36 is right oh, yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, uh... 40, almost 43 inches. Almost 43. So he's definitely a keeper, guys. So we're gonna dispatch him and bleed him and take out all the guts so that the ammonia doesn't build up in its flesh. Beautiful. That was the major key on that leopard shark. It hit and then like stopped and then five minutes later, fish was on, so. If you guys are doing that bait and weight method with circle hooks and you get the first bite and pulls a little bit, just leave it. Stay patient, fight every single urge to set the hook. I think maybe we'll do a four o'clock cutoff or something. It's 322. 
and uh, see if we can't pull another one. If not, we'll see you in the kitchen right now. Left some bloodline on there, but for the most part, it's all good white meat. Yep. Well guys, if you want to see a video where we actually catch and cook leopard shark, I'll leave that up here. Yep, that's where I'll leave it. It was a good one. Mario was there. We made tacos on the beach. It was pretty sick. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna cook this up. I'm gonna make something else tonight. So this won't be a catch and cook. I, we really wanted that shovel nose, but it just didn't happen. That was like the main goal. Mario wanted some leopard shark, so yeah. we caught some leopard shark. Pretty awesome, we got a double up. Well, what else? Oh, and then the last two fish were both rays and they just sat on our baits for like 30 minutes. We never got them to run, but either way, it was a good time. Good time. Definitely we'll do it again when the weather permits, you know. Yeah. Won't do it all the time, but it's still a good time. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, like Mario said, when the weather permits and that means that the ocean is crappy everywhere else and it's our kind of our last resort, but we're not too good to catch uh, some rays and leopard shark and hopefully guys we'll catch some subtle nose here soon so definitely subscribe if you haven't drop a like on this video it was definitely some fun bringing the kayak out and putting some fish on the new tuna setup even if it was not a tuna but anyway go check out that other video thanks for watching we'll catch you guys on the next one